Yo, what's up guys? It's Was It and I'm back with a brand new series on my channel. We are starting out right here, Sunday League Football. You may have seen these videos before, guys like Manny, Smiv and the Palmers FC crew, and also Slash Football are absolutely killing it on YouTube with these kind of videos right now. But I thought, why not bring one down under, film my mates, we play every Sunday anyway, and give it a crack. So here we are, round one last week, I wasn't actually able to film. It ended up in a 5-1 win to us away at Norelland Rangers. Super big result. But now, round two, we are playing St. Mary's away once again. Let's get into the action. All right, so first things first, we are the black and white stripe team on the right-hand side. St. Mary's in the green and yellow on the left. We're running really short on players today. I think we have 11 guys at the field right now, but it is time to kick off. First move, Jerson lays it back towards Kondo. Kondo slides out to Chino, who has our left back. He's now with the throw, throws it in towards Kondo. Kondo drops it back to Chris, playing centre back. Doesn't really control it, and their player comes through and absolutely belts one in typical Sunday League style. Here they are now, breaking down the left-hand side. They cut back inside to the small guy with the green boots who weaves through me and Kondo, slides the ball through, but he goes straight to our keeper, Aaron, who is actually our centre back, just feeling in today. It's up in the air now, Jerson goes up for the header, misses it, so does Josh but it falls down to Jerson, who muscles out the defender, and once again, gets a shot off, comes back off the keeper, has a crack here, absolutely scuffs a shot, slides to Josh, who slides it through the legs for possibly the worst looking opening goal I've ever seen in my life. Here it is once again, Jerson tries with a left boot, absolutely just scuffs it, goes to Josh, who I think gets a touch on it, and puts it through the defender's legs into the back of the net. One nil to us. Here they are now, breaking away in attack. Chris cuts it out from the back once again, plays the ball up towards Jerson, who's up the front. Does bring it down, he's got it at his feet now, twists and turns, gets past the defender once more, has another shot, really similar to the first one, but the keeper makes a great save. They're trying to counter here, the guy plays it through, but once again, Chris, absolutely dominant, pumps it all the way back up to Jerson, who controls it really nicely here. Plays it out towards Benji. Benji lays it back to him and then Jerson slides it through to me. I control it, try to dink the keeper and it comes back off the bar. I'm certain it crossed the line but the referee looked for the linesman and they didn't make the call. Here's another look at it guys. I control it with my right, dink it over the keeper. It comes off the bottom side of the bar. I'm certain it crosses the line but sometimes that's just the way it goes. You've got to follow up. Connor doing well to put pressure on the middle of the park here. It drops back towards Chino. He slides it back towards Aaron. Aaron takes the touch, puts it out towards the right back, Renzo, who's in a 50-50 now and does really well to win the ball. So the number 11 does a really nice scorpion flick there, thinks he's going to get through on goal, but Chris is there once again to stop his run, puts it out for another throw. We're in the middle of the park now, putting some pressure on, goes over to Chino. He nods the ball forward. Goes towards Kondo, who slides a pass through towards Jerson. Jerson twists and turns like usual, puts the pass out to Josh, but he goes just behind him. Here I am chasing for the ball, 50-50 challenge, just get there in front of that guy, and he goes out for a throw. Now, Ads is rocked up, he's a little late to the game, being our 12th man. The referee has an issue though, walks over to the linesman and realizes that we only have 11 players on the cards. Now, Ads, the substitute, was on the cards, meaning that an original player actually wasn't. We have five guys with Hidalgo last name in our team, and sadly, it was Benji that we've realized wasn't actually eligible to be playing at that time. So the referee pulls it out, we figure it out right now, and then Benji's pretty much asked to leave the game and we'll have no further part. Not too happy about it, but what do you do? We play on. So we get really lucky there off the throw. It slides through the Jerson who controls it, puts it across the top of the box to Kondo. Just doesn't connect with it. Last week he put one of those top corner, really hoping for the same shot, but it just doesn't happen. Tries it once more time. No one's there to get on the end of it and they break for a counter. They slide the ball out to the wing right now. Put it through towards their striker who turns, puts the ball through, but it just isn't successful and it's collected by Aaron. Here we are in attack once again. Jerson on the left hand side. Has a shot. If he puts it left to right of the keeper there, I'm sure it'll be in the back of the net, but he heads it straight for him. And there we go. Shot unsuccessful once again. Here's Kiki, Jerson's brother. Slides it through to Kondo. J Kondo goes to Jerson. Jerson lines up a shot. Absolutely scuffs it, but listen to the commentary from Benji. 
my cousin if you're kicking like Let's that. Let's go, go. Benji's all about the banner, especially after being removed from the game. I'd probably be a little more sour than he was, but oh well, nothing you can do now. I'm guessing that's the way he's looking at it. Then number 10 puts it to probably one of the best players in number 12. I think his name's Aaron, who just tries a little ball over top, doesn't work. And there we have a 50-50 between Jared, Josh's twin, playing in the back line and one of their players. They're in the attack now, going along the goal line. Nice little one-two here from St. Mary's. They line up the shot, but Aaron's there to make the save once again. Here we are now with Jared in the back line. Slides it out to Adzi who rocked up late. He dinks the ball forward. Controlled by Jerson and flicked over the defender with a nice little turn there. He's cutting down the left hand side. Puts it across the face of the goal and it goes just behind Josh who would have punished that one. Here he is after the throw in there. Jerson twisting once again. Puts the same ball across the box but I'm pretty sure the defender gets a toe on it and Josh isn't able to tap it in. Chris calls for this one now. Puts it back up in the air and I'm waiting to control it and... I don't know about you, but it's an AFL specy and I'm pretty sure we're playing football. Here they are breaking with the ball, sliding it through. Well done to Renzo there who shuts it down and we're back on the attack. I'll leave it for the ball out wide from Kiki to Kondo. Kondo now turns his defender, puts some pace on, gets past him and whips a really nice ball in. Josh couldn't just get over it there and heads straight onto the bar. Jerson with a follow-up, probably should have hit it first time, but we end up with a corner. You serious? <laughs> Benji's not too keen about not having the corner, but here we are, kicking off for the second half. To start it off, they win a free kick. Pretty decent position, and the guy just absolutely bonds one. Had the right angle on it, if it was down, it would have been a screamer. Here we are in attack once again. Jerson trips over the ball, face plants into the ground and they are breaking away through the middle. They play a ball through, but Josh works really hard, wins that one back. Renzo tries to slide it through to Kondo, but there he is. Kondo lays it through to me. I dip it through towards Jerson, who's onside from the defender on the right-hand side, and he finishes it into the bottom left corner. A great goal to make it 2-0 to us. Finally. Let's go. Whip it in. Here we are on the attack once again. I think it's Adzi, puts it across, and they almost score an own goal there. On the attack once again, St. Mary's, the guy just can't get over the shot and they fire it over and wide. Pretty tight battle here in the middle, Kiki putting in the work, Jerson and his brother comes through to clean it up, breaks through, does a nice little move here, gets through the defender, gets quite lucky on the last one, has a shot and the keeper does really well to get down low and put that one out. Here I am throwing it into Chino, Chino lays it back to me and I play it down the line towards Jerson. Jerson puts it out to Kondo, who plays the first time ball. And Josh, once again, just can't direct it on target. Now we're breaking. Josh heads the ball on towards Jerson. It's a race here. He touches it past the keeper and drops it in the back of the net to make it 3-0. Really positive start to the second half for us, especially for only having 11 players at the game. Here we are on the attack once again after winning the ball back. Josh gets pushed in the back there, keeps going, fighting for that ball. He's always super hungry. Shoulder to shoulder challenge there, but the ref wasn't really happy with it. Thinks it's too much aggression, so nothing you can really do about that one. Probably should have gone our way. I put this clip in here because it was super funny, but just copped one straight to the gut. Calling for the handball there. We just don't get it. Have to play by the whistle, and they slide through on the attack. Really nice ball. Aaron comes out to make the save, though doing really well as a feeling goalkeeper. Here we are trying to break on the counter now. Put it out wide to Chino. Chino puts it down the line towards Jerson and they call Jerson offside but I'm pretty sure the number four was keeping him on. The guy just flicks it past Adzi there. They try and play out of the back line. Gets caught. We slide the ball through to Kondo who does really well putting it down the line now. Cuts back inside. Cheeky little nutmeg right there on the number 11 and he's heading towards the box, get tackled, goes towards the back post, and Josh is there to finish it off with a tap in to make it 4-0. Here we are with the ball, Jerson playing it out wide towards Josh. Josh looks up, plays the ball down to Jerson. Jerson doing really well just off camera here to get into the nice little area. Cuts it across towards Kondo and off the bar. That's the third time we've hit the bar so far in this game. Jerson gets absolutely sandwiched there and it is going to be a foul. 
The guy wasn't too happy. He'd been found all game and receives a yellow card. Here we are on the attack once again. Jerson putting good pressure on. The number four does well to flick it over him, but it's nodded on by Kiku. There, Jerson cuts it back towards Kiku. Slides through the defenders here. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Epic little chip there by Kiki. Such a good finish. And here's Benji on the sideline. That's my cousin! <laughs> Yeah, he's always having the banner. So that makes it 5-0 there. Here we are on the attack. Chris with the throw in. Goes over. I bring it down my right foot. Play it through to Jerson on my left. Jerson's heading towards the box here. Puts the ball across. Goes just behind Josh. And they clear their lines. They bring it down the center of the park there. Put the ball through to their striker. Who's got some pace on him. But Jared's back there. And does really well to knock it out for a throw. Here we have it, so they throw it into the number nine once again. He plays the ball back. It's a 50-50 now between me and one of them. We both miss the ball and pretty much just get absolutely pummeled, but we play on. Chris playing the long ball once again from the back. Here we go, Jerson working hard as always into the box. Beats the defender, cuts the ball back to me. Go, Luke! Yes! And I finish it, but here's Amber. Oh shit, I missed that. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> Don't tell him. It's all good though. Amber's just filling in as we didn't have anyone to film this game either. So she's done pretty well so far. I'll let it slide. Here they are though. Hungry for a goal. 6-0 down. I'd probably be a little bit hungry too. But definitely disappointing result for them. Being at home and going down 6-0. They slide it out wide. The guy puts the ball in. But it is brought down. And Aaron is there to make the save. Really good chance for them. Great goalkeeping from Aaron. We've got the ball now in the center of the park. Once again, I think it's the number three. He's doing really well. Lays it out there to the winger, number 10. Whips in with the right foot and waiting at the back post, the number three, with a nice header to finish it off, making it 6-1. Listen to the crowd. All the mums are loving it from their team. So there we have it, the full-time whistle. The result ends up 6-1 in our favour. Super stoked on that one, especially being away once again and so early in the season. Two strong performances, 5-1, round one, and 6-1 now in round two, especially if you incorporate the fact that we only had 11 players on the match card. I think we've done really well. Let me know what you guys think of this series. If you want me to make some more and if you think there's anything that I can improve on, hit me up in the comments, bro, and leave a like on this video. Hold up. Hey.